Do you mind maybe diving in a little deeper on, you know, what makes this approach better than a multi-touch attribution model? You know, what are what are some of the lackings there in, in MTA? Yeah, so let me let me separate deep learning and MTA because they're they're sort of like comparing apples and oranges. Fair deep enough, learning, yeah. I would compare against you know machine learning or business rules as a mechanism for driving marketing performance. MTA, I would compare against incrementality as a measurement mechanism. Got it. Okay, so we have one set of mechanisms that we use to drive performance, where we think deep learning outshines machine learning, and we have two different measurement mechanisms. We have MTA and we have incrementality. Generally, around the world, most people would agree that incrementality is the ground truth, right? If I, if I randomly split users into two groups and one group gets your marketing and one doesn't and all else is held equal, any difference in the outcome has to be from that marketing. This is like your sixth grade science fair project. Right. <laughs> like, if you don't believe that, then all that we know about Western science is probably out the window. So pretty much that's a ground truth. MTA pretty much ignores all that and says, I'm just going to try to figure out based on these almost presupposed ideas around you know, how I put value back. And, and when I talk to marketers, the reason you kind of know it's, it's a bit of hand-waving is you talk to marketer one and they say, I'm going to give 50% of credit to the last click, 40% to the first click, and 10% to all the other clicks in between. I say, okay, how'd you get that? I don't know. That's what the <laughs> analytics team told me, or that's just the way the prior person did it. Okay, cool. You talk to marketer number two in the exact same business at a different company. They say, no, 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 no. We give 25% to the last click, 60% to the click before that, and we distribute the rest to all the other clicks. I say, great. How'd you come up with that? I have no idea. <laughs> and it is literally just a guessing game for most people. Yeah, there are occasionally more advanced approaches. And, and I think what's going to overtake MTA for the people that aren't jumping to incrementality is MMM, good old media mix modeling, which is actually grounded in, in, in strong uh, mathematical underpinnings because it's generally a multiple regression. And it was what was the gold standard back in the days where TV was the primary mechanism for advertising, say in the 70s and 80s. So MMM is likely to blow MTA out of the water. One, because MTA, it's kind of a crock, let's be honest. Uh, and two, it's going to be hard for people to do without the third party cookie, because you can only do it on a click based system. So you can't capture any non click based or view based touches. And sometimes those are meaningful, sometimes they're not. But if they are, you'd want to include it. And so MTA has a lot of challenges and the third party cookies probably the nail in the coffin for that. MMM will probably the be, be the better operational approach and then incrementality staying as your ground truth.